morning what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahdi in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful 3d image of flip using Elementor page builder so here initially we can see the front image and if we hover over on it we can see the back image with beautiful 3d flip and in this tutorial I won't be using any custom CSS so everything we will be creating just by drag and drop so without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder to take a new section let's first click on this red plus icon and here I'm taking this three column structure. Now let's make its height to minimum height and I'm setting its height to 100 VH. Let's now add a background color with it so go under style tab and here I wanna add a gradient color so let's click on this gradient. The first color I wanna make it white. Now I'm setting its location to 50 and here the second color location I'm setting it to 43. Alright now inside this middle column let's click on this plus icon and here I'm searching for flip box. Here you go this is the flip box let's now drag this widget inside this middle column here. By the way this flip box widget is only available on Elementor Pro. I will put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you purchase Elementor Pro through my affiliate link, you don't have to pay any extra but I will get a little credit for that. That will help me to continue this YouTube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this. Alright so here you can see the flip box and all these are default settings. But you know first of all I wanna remove everything. So first let me show you how it's right now. So if we minimize it here we can see this is the front one, this is the back one and here is the settings option. I'm first opening the front. Now here inside I'm deleting this icon. Also I'm removing this title from here. Also the description from here. So the front face is completely empty. Now let's minimize it and open the back. From here I'm also removing the title and the description. Let's also remove this button text from here. Now minimize this back and if we have a look this flip box is completely empty but they are working perfectly. So here the first thing I want to change some settings from here. Let's now open the settings. Here I want to make its a height to 450 pixel. Also let's add border radius 15 pixel here. So now if we have a look the corners are rounded. Alright let's open it. Then from here flip direction if you want you can keep the up but I want it to be flipped from right direction so I'm selecting right. Also let's turn on the 3D depth option. So if we now hover over on it you see it's now flipping from the right side. Alright now I want to add an image at the front and another on the back. So first let's open the front option and from there go under the background option. Now click on this classic icon from here you can upload any image I'm clicking here. So for the first front image I'm selecting this one now click on insert media and from here I'm setting the position to center center repeat to no repeat and the size I'm making it cover. Alright it's looking great so now collapse the front option and open the back. Again go under its background option from here we can select another image. It would be the back image so I'm selecting this image now click on insert media. Similar like the front image I'm making its position to center center repeat to no repeat and size to cover. And lastly to look it more cleaner I'm going under advanced tab. Now let's unbind the padding. I'm giving it in percentage and only on the right side and on the left side I'm adding 5% of padding. So if we now hover over on it it's now flipping nicely and it looks super smooth. Alright so it's looking great on desktop device now I wanna check how it's looking on tablet and mobile device. So to check it from here now click on this responsive mode icon. First go to the tablet view. On the tablet device everything is looking great but I want to reduce its height so go under content tab from here if we scroll down let's open the settings. So only for the tablet device I want to make its height to 320 pixel. Perfect. Now let's go to the mobile device. As on mobile device there will be only one image within a column so we can increase its height to 450 pixel again. 
now it's looking great and you know on mobile device there will be more images at the top and bottom so we can add some space at the top and bottom of this flip box as well so just select this flip box go under its advanced tab for the mobile device i'm adding 5 pixel all around all right now it's looking great on mobile device also on the tablet device and it looks great on desktop device as well so let's close the responsive bar from top now to give it a real feel, I'm just duplicating this column. Let's just duplicate it one more time. And let's remove the empty column from left. Also remove the empty column from right. Now, you know, you can easily change the front and back image from the flip box. So I'm selecting the first one. Go to its content tab. First, let's go to the background of the front. From here, let's select another front image. So I'm selecting this one, insert it. Now let's go to the back, go under its background, from here I'm changing this image with this one, click on insert media. Let's now go to the third one, from its background I'm selecting another front image, so this one select it and for the back go to its background and I'm selecting another image, that's this one, click on insert media. So they're all working perfectly and they're looking super cool. So when you are happy with your work, don't forget to click on this green update button. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you on the next video. For now, bye-bye.